Worst client has updated to Minecraft 1.21.5 and the update hasn't even been out for an hour yet. Anyways, to get it, you can head over to their official website, which I will link down in the description below. This is their downloads page here. We're just going to be choosing worst for Minecraft 1.21.5. Here you will see all the available versions, in this case there's only one, so we can click on that. Then we want to scroll down over here and we will find the download section. Here we want to download uh, Worst Client, which we can do by simply clicking on the black button and the down that download is going to start automatically for us. To use this though, you also need the Fabric API, which you can really easily download by simply clicking onto this white button right next to it. Alright, so judging by the fact that you needed to download the Fabric API, you were probably also able to guess that you do need the Fabric Loader installed for 1.21.5. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link this down in the description below for you guys. Anyways, right now as you can see, I have Worst Client and the Fabric API, very important that you have both. In my downloads over here, uh, now I can simply press on the Windows and R buttons on my keyboard at the same time. Then in this box, we can type um, uh, in app data. I'm sure how much you already know exactly how this works. In this area, we want to go into the folder called Roaming, then .minecraft, then scroll down a little until we find the Mods folder. We can simply drag both of these right into the Mods folder, and once we've done that, we can close up both of those, open up the Minecraft Launcher, and launch Fabric for 1.21.5. So here I have loaded in Fabric 1.21.5, as you can see, and now I'm just going to head into a random single player world, just for demonstration purposes and show you a little bit about how this client works. If you want a full in-depth tutorial that um, I have made, I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, uh, as you can see, we have loaded in over here and to open up the click GUI area, you want to press on the right hand shift button on your keyboard and that is going to open up this massive area. As you can see, it's quite large. This contains all of the utilities that Worst Client has. We can hover above these and that's going to give you a description of what they do. Clicking on them will turn them on and they're going to be green and clicking on them once again will turn them off and then they're not going to be highlighted anymore. Uh, if you want to look for something specific you can of course do so and it'll sort then. Um, and for the rest, if you click on this green arrow over here, that's going to open up a customization menu for this specific utility. In this case, it's the aim assist. It'll tell you the category it's in, a brief description of what the utility does, and here is a list of all of the customizations this has, which it's quite a lot, and of course in the bottom over here you can enable and disable it. For the rest, a really useful thing almost all of these menus have is the ability to set a keybind. Keybinds are obviously a very important part of being able to use this client efficiently. Alright, so for the rest, this area should be pretty self-explanatory. However, we can scroll down and we'll see a few other things. You'll notice that after this um, alphabetical sorting, you'll um, encounter ones that uh, utilities that start with dots. I'll get to those in a second. Um, but here at the very bottom, we have some general utilities, which includes a general hack list, the option to disable worst, for example. There's translations. There's also legit utilities like the zoom right over here. Um, and the tab GUI. What the tab GUI allows you to do is to um is, is to have this click gui on the side of your screen over here if i close out of this and you can navigate the click gui as we were just doing um except using the arrow keys on your keyboard and so you can also actually do that while moving around some people like using that uh anyways i can just uh, turn this off again for right now for the rest over here you'll notice there's a watermark um we have the worst logo right down here, which is showing, and you can change its visibility to only show when you're using an outdated version, and this way, as you can see, my screen is going to be completely clean, but of course, I can still use the client. For the rest, actually pressing on the right hand control button on your keyboard is going to open up the exact same click GUI, but with in a different type of view. This is a more generic layout of what click GUIs look like. As you can see, um, this obviously all has the exact same features except just laid out in a different way. Some people prefer this one. Uh, keep in mind that you can scroll in some of these sections at, to 
not miss out on anything uh for the rest let's finally get to the utilities starting with the dots those are commands that this client has so if i type in chat over here um, a dot and then any command i'll just start with dot help to start then as you can see we're going to get a list of the commands they're not all going to print out we need to go like dot help three and then we're going to get the third page and just like that you'll see all of the commands um and Basically, it's that simple. These commands and a bunch of other really useful features. The useful part of this is that when you go over here and head into any of the commands, it'll tell you exactly what the command does as well as how to use the command, which is the syntax. Um, so that should help you out figuring out exactly how to use all the commands. Uh, finally, in this pause menu, um, the, the pause menu, you'll notice there's a worst client options button. This simply has your keybinds, x-ray, and zoom managers together with some other general utilities. Uh, for the rest though, that was basically that. Those are the basis, basics of using worst client. Uh, once again, there is going to be an in-depth tutorial linked down in the description below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.